Good day class. Now I will teach you the start of our forward kinematics uh, series of lectures. So the first one is to introduce to you the Denavit Hartenberg notation. So Denavit Hartenberg notation is uh, was introduced by Jacques Denavit and and Richard Hartenberg in 1955 in order to standardize the coordinate need frames for spatial linkages so this what we are uh, doing now is a kinematic diagram of a spatial manipulator so this is what we will use to analyze and design our mechanical manipulator so dh notation is used to solve for the forward kinematics of mechanical manipulator and uh, will serve uh, and uh, and uh, will serve as the analysis of our uh, kinematic diagrams then so frames in mechanical uh, manipulator it is uh, used by manipulators to know where it is and where to go okay it indicates the movement of our mechanical manipulator so in, a, in this example yes in this example the frames these are the frames the cartesian coordinate system that uh, includes uh, three axes the x y and z so the the frames are located at each uh, part of our mechanical manipulator at the base at the joints and at the end effector so there are three types of frames used in a mechanical manipulator the base or also called the world frame the user frame it's the there are the frames at the body of our mechanical manipulator and tool frame so tool frame is the frame at the end effector okay so the first part of the of the dh notation is the dh frame rules okay so this these are the rules used to assign frames in the kinematic diagram okay before uh, we do the dh notation so before this uh, dh frame rules we will have uh, what i call uh, dh frame preliminary rules so these rules are self created rules okay to have an easy easy way of drawing the or easy way of following the dh frame rules so these uh four rules self created four rules is created in order to make the drawing of the frames uh, much easier okay so the first rule is to decide first the three views okay you want to project on your isometric drawing so we have done this earlier uh the three views we want to project are the front view right side view and the top view then rule two identify the center of your frames or the origin of your frames so we need to identify this the origin of our frames in order to draw the frames easily and uh frames easily and uh properly in our mechanic in our kinematic diagram so to identify the center of our frames we will use this uh this uh, link indicators our link arrows okay to to draw our or to to assign the the center of our frames so we will just follow okay okay our link indicators example at this base okay the first uh the origin the, the origin of the base will be at the uh, center of gravity just like 
where our first link uh, pointing the first uh, the first arrow of our link indicator pointing then the second uh, origin is where the link 1 and link 2 connected okay at this uh, at this part so we will put the point here okay to make it okay, to make it uh to make it like uh, to make it at the side of the link in the link indicator okay next for our third uh joint or sorry yes now for our third joint we will put our we'll put our third origin at the center of our third joint uh, just uh, like what this link indicator is showing us so they are crossing they are uh, crossing the center of the third joint. Okay. Then the last joint will be at the end defector. Or sorry, the last point or the last origin will be at the end defector. Just at the okay, at the last part of our kinematic diagram. Okay. Rule 3. Draw your color coded arrows based on your decided three views. Okay. So drawing uh, uh drawing the axis the uh, the axis of our frames will be much easier if we use color codes. Okay. Then I will uh, teach you how to draw how to draw arrows or axis based on the three views we are projecting in our uh, on our kinematic diagram okay so if you want to draw an arrow left or right that that is pointing uh, left or right okay you will draw this kind of arrow Okay, or you'll draw this arrow in this uh, manner. Okay, if you want to draw an arrow or an axis that pointing upward or downward, this is how you will draw the axis or the arrows. Okay, next. If you want to draw an axis or arrows that pointing uh, forward or backward, this will be your drawing. Okay, drawing of arrows. So, this arrow or this axis okay, looks like a... Uh, Drawn 45 degrees from the other two arrows, but uh, this that these arrows are perpendicular to the first two because uh, this represents the the three axes of the coordinate system of the three-dimensional coordinate system so this the x uh, the uh, horizontal line will be our x-axis the vertical line will be our z-axis while the green line will be our y-axis okay so this axis the green axis represents the forward and the backward or the front view 
and the back view. Okay. So this will this is how you will draw the arrows or the axis. Next, rule 4. So remember to make the arrows of Z and X axis easy to see for the future computations. So remember rule 4. Okay. Uh, y axis is the least important axis among the three. So let's always make Z and I Z and X axis easy to see. Okay. For our future computations. So I will show it to you in our example. Okay. So if we have learned the DH frame rules, we can now go to the real uh, DH frame rules. Okay. So let's go to our uh, manipulator. So now the the uh, DH preliminary rules are established. We can now follow the DH frame rules. 